Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is an important update for all the students who are writing DCET which is Diploma CET and PGCET which is Postgraduate CET exam in uh, Karnataka for admission to MBA and MCA courses. So this is based on the news article published in Hindu and you can see here it talks about the examination this year. So the exam is going to be online from this year. So KEA which conducts this exam and the document verification and the counseling process is going online. So this is the article which is I am going to discuss and this will also talk about the dates which can be possible for this year's exam. So all this year's KEA was doing the offline exam. So examination used to happen in the exam centers for all the KEA exams like KCET which is for engineering which used to see highest number of students 2.5 lakhs as well as PGCET and the DCET. All these exams were going offline way. But now there is a different thinking which has come. So for, th for the first time in Karnataka, the KEA has decided to conduct two exams, Diploma CET and PGCET completely online. So it will be not, not just the exam which will be done online. They will also conduct the document verification online and they will also conduct the counseling online. So nobody has to go anywhere and you can attend the exam from your own city as well as can complete the document verification and counseling everything from your own city. So this is sort of a good news. So if you see compared to KCET, KCET is for Karnataka engineering entrance. In engineering entrance, there are large number of students which give, right? About 2.5 lakhs and above. But in case of diploma CET and PGCET, the number of students are very less. So for the PGCET, which is for MBA, MCA, the number of students who give PGCET around 50,000 plus. So as you can see, the Ramya, the executive director says that it is possible to conduct these two exams online, which is PGCET for MBA, MCA. And uh, presently, the state has the sitting capacity for the online exam of 15,000. So 15,000 students can give the online exam as of now and they are going to add 5,000 more computers so that around 20,000 computers will be available for exam, right? So uh, in one shift, 20,000 students can give, so maybe in two or three shifts within two days, all the students will be able to give the PGCET exam. So that is why they, they are planning to start the awareness campaign soon so that students be aware of the online exams and they will conduct it in the online mode, right? Next, uh, like they have already started working on the online you know, application come verification module. So if you can see here clearly say they have already completed making the entire process online from submission of application to document verification to declaration of result to counseling and to for the and for the seat allotment online everything. And even for the students who wanted to uh, claim the reservation category right they have to submit the revenue department uh, documents which is the cast certificate right rd numbers with cast certificate so again this for this also they don't need to come to the ke office they can do it online in the online mode so that is also a good news that lot of hassles will reduce so given that they have done a good number good amount of preparation now it looks like the examination date or the application form may be out in next two weeks maybe second week of april you can expect at least the examination form will be out for conducting exam exam may not happen in april because uh, now timelines are passed maybe in the may month you can expect the exam to happen so that is the short update as of now and uh, let's look for the kea updates on this that's all i have to cover thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar important updates take care and bye